Right, I want to talk about this website's SEO strategy. You've probably heard of them, they're called Retail Me Not. And essentially what they do is they're a directory or a marketplace or a listing site where they aggregate different coupons for different restaurants or places, right? Essentially, this page is a dedicated page for Papa John's and has a bunch of links for coupons that you could potentially get on their pizza restaurant, right? I want to cover what they're doing, how they're acquiring backlinks and exactly what their SEO strategy is that makes them super relevant for coupons that essentially gets them ranked on Google and a bunch of traffic every single month. But before I go over all this, let me show you first what their traffic looks like. So 67, let's do 70% of all their traffic comes from organic search. So search engines like Bing or Google, right? So this company, that's most likely a multi-million dollar company, has most of their traffic coming from search engines. So they're of course doing something right, because this is not the norm, right? The norm isn't this, the norm usually traffic comes more from direct, but this is uh, amazing, right? So let's say they're making $10 million a year, which should probably be a bit more. Just imagine how valuable their search positions and their rankings on Google and other search engines like Bing can be, because 70% of their money essentially is coming from search engines. So let's go over exactly what they're doing. First things first is they're ranking for 1.3 million organic keywords. They have about 20 million backlinks. Now, this is not the best um, uh, ratio here. So they have only uh, 66,000 referring domains and 20 million backlinks. There are a bit, there's a bit of a discrepancy here, and I'll, I'll show you in a second what that means and why. Uh, but ideally, you want to have a value as close as possible from referring domains to backlinks. Co so let's say this is your site. Let's say this is about Amazon.com, uh, PCMag.com, Vetted.com, and these can have each one one link, right? So you'd, on here, you'd have three referring domains and three backlinks, but Amazon.com could link twice to your site or three times on this. Um, aspect you'd have uh, six backlinks from three referring domains, right? One, two, three, four. So four. Sorry about that. That's some bad math. So, but you get the point. Four backlinks from three domains. Ideally, the the more backlinks you have from one domain, the less they're counted towards, I guess, the points that rank your site on Google. So, again, you want to have a, a closest value from one to one as possible. If not, no worries. Again, this is still good, but I'll show you why in a second. Uh, it's not ideal. Now, I mean, organic keyword rankings, they're, they're ranking for 1.3 million, right? They were ranking last year for 2.8 million, but that's besides the point. Now, uh, you might notice a, a, a trend here, and I'll, I'll talk about this in just a second, which is topical authority. You might notice that the topic these guys cover are essentially food. Food, Papa John's, which is a, a, a food, a pizzeria. Um, of course, they, they cover also other types of retail stores, uh, but Domino's here, another pizzeria. Um, fast food near me, Papa John's near me. Uh, again, they, they they do cover a lot of different niches, but most of it in their the topical authority comes from the food niche, right? So if you scroll down here and take a look at their backlinks, we can see they have a bunch of backlinks, PC Mag, uh, one's from Apple, they have one from uh, Wikipedia as well. But by, by the way, if you wanna grab this tool, I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, you can also, it also has a, a rank tracker integrated in it. You can add keywords, track them all, and limited keywords, so it's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, moving on to the top pages. Now, what you notice is they have viewing pages, view, for slash view, for every single restaurant or retail store, right? Papa John's, Best Buy, Domino's, Hotbobby.com, Walmart.com, right? Target.com, DoorDash, Fast Food. This is a different one for coupons, right? They have dedicated pages to each restaurant or each retail store. And you'll notice they all follow a trend. They all follow the same template, which is business name, promo codes, and coupons because this is what people are searching for. Exact, this is our, these are the exact match keywords. People search for DoorDash promo codes or DoorDash coupons. And you'll see that this is an H1. If we click here, by the way, this is also free. I'll leave it in the description if you want to try it out. The headings, the H1 is gonna be business name, promo codes, and coupons on every single one of these pages. Let's take a look at this one from Papa John's. Again, it's the same thing over and over again. H1s, business name, coupons, and deals. In this case, it's deals. Unsure why they're doing this. Maybe they want to target different keywords. Maybe they've noticed that people uh, searching for pizzerias use the word deals instead of the word um, coupons. I mean, that's just my guess. Unsure why they've done it, but uh, you, you get the point. They're essentially all the same. Logo to get the page relevancy, right? And then a about us of the business, right? This gives this page relevancy to the business, right? This is a page about Papa John's, so it needs and must mention what Papa John is, right? They write a big description about what they are, and of course, they should have a 
this is a bit it's a long description they sh they have a link here for uh papa john's i'm guessing this goes straight to papa john's if not yeah, it does my website my, my browser is crashing but this goes straight to papa john's so they have outbound links to papa john's right so we have this whole page that is heavily niched down right these are restaurant name plus sorry coupons and deals right super niche down has an about us about the business as a logo that gives it the page relevancy the url also as you can see up there is the business name so it has the it gives this page let's google know that this page is about deals for x business and of course has what the user is searching for which are these little coupons and one thing that's interesting is that when you click one of these coupons a new tab pops up with the actual uh, coupon that you can see and the other one redirects to papa john's right so this is a a way that they found to measure the traffic that they're sending to papa john's unsure if they have an affiliate deal with them maybe they do uh, again cannot be sure too sure of that but you saw just before that this website gets right here a 20.7 million visits a month so that's a lot of visits every single month of course not all of them go to uh this papa john's page or not all of them go to doordash but some of them will right and what retail me not does is essentially they're a directory that sends out traffic or affiliate traffic to these different businesses and then i'm assuming they take a cut or either the companies pay to be listed on here so essentially if you dumb it down it is a directory site right retail me not created a domain they made it popular they ranked these pages and now most likely companies pay to be on here right super super interesting now moving on in terms of backlinks we can see that a lot of backlinks and I just uh, opened them here from the backlink section, came from uh, PC Mac. If you don't know, it's one of the biggest sites out there. They get a ton of traffic as well. They essentially post um, a bunch of news, right? And you'll notice that here on the footer, footer, sorry, they have a link to Retail Me Not, right? And on every single article, because this is a footer article, for the link, sorry, on every single article, they have a link to Retail Me Not and all these ones, right? So they have... 10,000, 20,000, 50,000 plus backlinks coming from PC Mag alone, right? You just count up the articles they do have, if you just do it like this, we can see how many pages they have on the site. So 134,000 pages just in 0.2 seconds, right? This means that, P that uh, PC Mag is sending at least 134,000 backlinks to Retail Me Not, right? So that's the way they found to gather backlinks from authoritative sources i'm sure they're paying a hefty amount to be listed on here but with that they are able to increase their domain authority in google right their site is perceived as high value and as a more authoritative source for all things food related or all things coupon related because they have links from authoritative sources and that's how link building works right you want to have links from authoritative sources whether that's wikipedia pc mag whatever it is a link from an authoritative source in google's eyes will make google trust your site a bit more right they do the same with this one extreme extremezact.com sorry again a bunch of articles and all all of them they have a link to uh retail me not right so that's how they're acquiring backlinks interesting strategy because in my opinion it's quite hard to uh acquire backlinks to a this type of directory site uh i mean you could ask the restaurant but then again unsure if the restaurant would have or would want or i guess would have any interest in doing that so a good way they found to do it is just to pay hefty amounts to get them on these high high value uh business sites and they get links this way um also they have a blog retailme.com forward slash blog and this is where also they get a bunch, of a bunch of traffic for example this other blog this is a link that i found here on, on this uh, little tool uh it's a blog talking about whatever it is and then they link to uh, uh one thing we've been phased to see in those trend sales is growing emphasis on things like handoff toys whatever whatever and this links to the retail me not blog right hot holiday toys you should buy now right to this article so again this is the old quote unquote old way to do seo you just have a gold good old blog solid blog with solid content and if you build quality content again i know this is what everyone says build quality content and you'll rank on google but it's truth right if you build quality content people will eventually link out to you let's just like this one again i'm sure if this link is paid for or not it comes from the our domain looks trustworthy you never know though but the way they're getting acquiring backlinks is through their blog as well right there because this is not on a subdomain right it's on the forward slash blog it's not blog.retailme.com because it's on the actual domain right it does carry the juice the link juice over to the main uh, page right here, right? So this is important. 
something you, you, that we do, for example, that we do on Vettel is we have our blog on the, oh, sorry, forward slash blog, right? Because we want to make sure that the juice goes to the main domain. Because if you have it as a subdomain, and this is breaking because my internet is a bit weird, because uh, if you have it on a subdomain, uh, it's essentially a different site, right? So the link juice, quote unquote, will not flow, flow through. And I'm talking about link juice. I'll link a video in the description about um, link building solely. I don't want this video to become just about link building. But yeah, just know, know that. That's essentially it. That's what we're doing. Uh, quite interesting that you can have a site with 20 million million uh, users, visitors every single month in traffic. That is essentially just a simple, quote unquote, simple, not easy business to run, which is a directory site for coupon codes. And of course, they always, always have the optimization for the technical SEO, right? Meta titles, promo code, business name, promo code, cashback. Then here they sprinkle in some of the keywords, brand name, um, store name, coupon codes, promo codes, all that. So they sprinkle in the, the keywords that their users are searching for, right? So they match the user's search intent. Pretty cool. Also, the meta image, when you, when you share the uh, link for this online, it, it just gives you the logo for the uh, business that they're sharing. And of course, they have their sitemap and uh, robots.txt, which is are part of the proper technical SEO optimization on their site too. That's it for this one. Again, I'll leave a link in the description for this tool. Also, if you don't want to create a a retail, not a retail, sorry, a website, a directory website similar to this one, right? Not, of course, not the exact same functionalities, but a website where you can essentially be a part of this new trend that's popping off. Of course, this is a bit all of a site, but this, this new trend that's popping off that is a the online directory listing marketplace type of sites. You, I'll leave a link for this in the description. We have already some people that pre-ordered and uh, this is again a li lifetime, 100% refundable fee. But uh, yeah, if you want to grab it, build a directory, build a site like similar to this one and capitalize on the trend of aggregating curated things like restaurants, even people, right? You can create a directory for uh, vetted SEOs, for example, or I don't know, a directory for um, products, AI tools, whatever it is. Uh, this is pretty cool for that. And um, if you ever need SEO for that as well, of course, I do own Vetted, as you might know. Vetted is a platform that you can use to hire pre-vetted SEO experts, whether that's via, via these uh, productized services like link building, Wikipedia page creation, content briefs, all that. Or if you want a more tailored uh, solution to it, you can, of course, go here to the Managed SEO, book a call with me, and we'll um, get you on a proper tailored strategy. We have a bunch of results to show for, so that's always good. And again, final thing, if you don't want to commit to a tailored strategy, we do have these little packages which you can start up with, which are great. Uh, proper actually quality link building builds built to your site content as well and yeah that's about it thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you on the next one cheers